on a man. I hope the drivers get the sauce to know how to move on that part because life in the movement. I mean, that's life in. They gotta test it first. Yo, when you get out there, I, I need you to know this is what you need to do. Like, period. I don't care about everything else. Like, this part is where people lose their lives at. You need to know what's happening right here because yeah, I, yeah, they need to be told. They do. They need to be told about that part. What's, What's good, y'all? It's, it's the Doom Machette to react, and we're back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button because we're on the road to 50k. And we cannot get there without you guys. All right, join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Hey, uh, mm. The Nurburgring. The Nurburgring. If you've spent any time reading about cars, you've probably heard the term. What is it? It's a merciless 13 mile track with terrifying twists, turns, and dips. And arguably the most dangerous race course in the world. But it's become a sort of holy destination for drivers, professional and amateur, who make the pilgrimage to the small town of Nurburg, Germany. Since its construction in 1927, the ring has tragically claimed the lives of just under 70 motorsport heroes. Legendary Formula One driver Jackie Stewart famously crowned the track the Green Hell, mm. a nickname it holds to this day. But just what makes the Nürburgring so brutal? Mm. The Nürburgring is actually composed of two different courses, but it's the site's northern loop, or Nordschleife, that most- You didn't see that bottom, you didn't see that bottom course. Let me show you that bottom L, course. A nickname it holds to this day. But just what makes the Nürburgring so brutal? The Nürburgring is actually composed of two- Look at that bottom course. Oh, the bottom all by itself is just- There's a lot going on mm -hmm. in that bottom course too, but this is the longest course right here. And um, yeah, that's that's definitely that definitely look like it's yeah, a lot of movement going on. And then it's in it look like it's in mountains. Look like it's on the side of them. Oh, it's a lot of movement going but on. But the bottom by itself is too much. Yes, different sir. courses, but it's the site's love. northern loop or Nordschleife that most associate with the track. As the world's longest racetrack, the Nordschleife remains the ultimate test of skill amongst professional drivers competing in extreme races, like the 24 hours of Nürburgring endurance race. A closer look at the track reveals three things that make it such a challenge, even for the most skilled drivers. The steep elevation changes, blind mm. corners, and the lack of runoff areas. Mm. Let's start with the elevation changes. For an idea of just how severe the Nürburgrings are, the total difference in altitude from the track's highest point to its lowest is a jaw-dropping 985 feet, and it doesn't occur gradually either. The shifts in elevation are abrupt and spontaneous, providing plenty of challenges for those who don't know the track thoroughly. That's a roller coaster, man. Oh, I don't Come on, know. a roller coaster. Now I've been like below sea level. I don't remember like how many feet, but in the canyons, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's a scary feeling for me. Yeah. Like, I can do an airplane, but below? Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, you're air popping. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, even if just, like, when I was playing football and I had to run outside in a different elevation from where I'm usually from, that air just it hit my whole lung different, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't even breathe. Felt like I was mm -hmm. swallowing the whole sock. Like, yeah. it's literally that tense. Like, you got to get used to this type of stuff. So I wonder how many laps it takes for them to and, get, And they're like, driving. used to this type of, you know, air frequency. I mean, I mean, they got the windows up, stuff like that, but... It don't matter. What's, what's it happening don't matter. to him? What's happening to him exactly, you think? The force. Pressure. He says abrupt. Pressure. Yeah. 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 Mm -mm -mm. To do. One of the best examples of this happens fairly early in the track, at a section known as Foxhole. This section features five sweeping corners that can be taken at full speed. But it's at the last corner when the track goes into a steep downhill descent, then immediately elevates that you feel more g-forces than you've ever felt. To better understand what driving oh, through it is like, it. <laughs> we caught up with someone who circles the ring over a thousand times every year. Misha Shruden is a race car driver, course instructor, and YouTuber who knows every inch of the track like the back of his hand. He's even managed to guide a driver around it while completely blindfolded. That's, that's different. different. 
straight to the fast. Center. That's it's different. Right. You're a foxhole. It's wow. very what you mean? Uh, what, what you mean? <laughs> mean? <laughs> uh, breaks. <laughs> what? Now we have watched the co-pilots um, read and how and they the be paper. going through the the mud and getting crashed, and they still be read. Baby, with his eyes closed. Uh, br- Yo, he sir. must be in the history book. You give me a record or something. Yeah, man, that's, that's he deserves to be. Yeah, real talk. That's I have anxiety. Dangerous. And, and and I'm not even there. Ch- I couldn't do it. Mm-mm. Uh, Mm-mm. uh, break. See, no, no, I'm I'm too. I I can't. I wouldn't I be able to do it. it. I'm Mm-mm. I'm pressing on brakes. I'm walk back. Man. You take the call. I'm walking. Hey, he built different though. Very downhill descent, followed by an instant climb. And what a lot of people do, they think like, oh, let me see what the top speed of my car is because I'm going downhill now. And then they brake at the lowest point. The issue here is the weight transfer. When you brake at the complete bottom, you have the weight transfer already because the car will change its direction from going downhill to uphill. And when you apply the brakes on that, you will most likely end up in the barrier. But it's Mm. near the ring's end that drivers face one of the most daunting sections of racetrack in the world when it comes to elevation change. Located 10 and a half miles into the track, is a section called Flans Garden. Known mm-hmm. for its number of career-ending accidents, there is zero room for error on this series of jumps and turns, where drivers will find it nearly impossible not to go airborne. So you actually, literally, your car will jump three times over, uh, I would say, a period of one minute. Your car would be airborne one time straight before the, end, uh, before the braking zone, one time you will go a bit sideways, maybe even in the air as well, and one time you would be going over 120 miles per hour over a slight bump while changing direction. So when you have a mistake there, it will usually end up in, yeah, in a very, very, let's say track closure. People will have to close the track how bad of an accident it's going to be. But it isn't simply jumps and drops that cause so many accidents on the Nürburgring. On a Man, th- I hope the drivers get the sauce to know how to move on that part because life in the movement, I mean, that's life in They gotta it. test it first. Yo, when you get out there, I, I need you to know this is what you need to do, like, period. I don't care about everything else. Like, this part is where people lose their lives at. You need to know what's happening right here because yeah, I, yeah, they need to be told. They do. They need to be told about that part. Mm, much respect to them. 13-mile yes. track made up of around 170 different tight corners. About 90% of them are blind. The ring's infamous turn they call Collinhard, about five miles into the track, is the perfect example of just how blind these corners can be. It's difficult because it's very blind and it gets very tight. It has a very, very, very late apex and people just don't expect that because they think, well, the, the, the turn should be over now. No, it gets tighter, tighter, tighter and it's very blind. And you see a lot of accidents happen there. So you have to stay very slow, very much on the outside, no, slow no, feet, fast hands and get it right. And this is something what people really uh, mess up. So this is, I would say, in terms of the blind corner, Colin Hart is definitely one of the most challenging ones. It's also the lack of sufficient runoff areas that separates the Nürburgring from the rest of the world's professional racetracks. While most courses feature plenty of zones for out of control vehicles to safely depart from the track, less than a handful of corners at the Nürburgring have what could even be considered runoff areas. For the majority of the course, drivers will find that there is less than a meter separating the track from the barriers. This means that even the slightest mistakes can result in cars Ooh, smashing yeah, into the that. walls. That coming. But as intimidating a track like the Green Hell can be, Misha has a few simple words of advice for those everyday drivers looking to tackle the ring for the very first time. I always say, no tackle it, babe. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's why you I like cars. It. But I would rather just keep mine as a model, as a show car, or something like that. I ain't trying to get behind the wheel. And, but but nah. you could do like what we did in New Orleans. Mm-mm. You can go, you know, drive it with the, prof- for, uh, the professional the professional driver. Nah, I'm straight. No, <laughs> nah, I ain't doing it. I drive in the, uh, I, I let somebody drive me around for a few minutes. <laughs> You're not going to do the whole thing? No. No. Once, <laughs> once I'm done, I'm done. This is my stop. This is my stop. This, right here. They don't have no runoff. <laughs> <laughs> just, just pull over here for a minute. Just pull over here for a minute. Um, Keep the, hitting that reset button. Yeah, the thing about it is, it's a tough track. Yeah. What, what they call it, yeah, it's a tough track, but you have other people driving it as well. Yeah, That's, really close, too. Right. That's different. We don't, we don't see that in rally. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't see that too much. So, yeah, this yeah. is... 
Again, you gotta be built. This guy here is crazy though. Like he know his <laughs> he stuff. Know it. He know his stuff. You cannot impress here anyone after 93 years of history, but you can make everybody laugh. So make sure to be the person that does not make us laugh after uh, ending up on YouTube for some yeah bad crash video. <laughs> the crash <laughs> video. I know we like the crash videos. Man, y'all gotta go check his channel out, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of famous drivers, even upcoming drivers, know, know about him. So yeah. they should be able to put their ducks in a row and kill these tracks if they just take his advice. Yeah. Dude yeah. knows stuff. Blindfolded? Child. Uh, stop. <laughs> what you mean? Uh, stop. <laughs> break, break. Nah. Child. Oh, Lord. Look. I don't like adrenaline stuff like that mm -mm. keep me on the ground where it's not moving mm -hmm. but <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us like this video subscribe turn on the post notification bell we have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below we'll see you soon peace, peace.